to you, and welcome to Fan Channel. I had taken a month-long break from psychedelics since my last experience with 4-H-O-M-E-T. I needed a reset, and to really record what happened into my memory. I decided on taking a lower 3 gram dosage of the Malabar shrooms I had grown in order to get back into the groove of things. If you like trip reports, and can put up with a distorted voice and silly ass costume, make sure to subscribe for more. With an entire month between trips, I was feeling very tolerance free. I suspected the shrimps would sink me deeper than normal, so I opted to take only 3 grams. That is my baseline when it comes to shrimps. 3 grams. I don't mind 2 grams, but less than that, and I wasted a trip. No microdosing for this guy. I had previously mentioned how smaller doses can make movie watching feel different. You can really pick out things you might not have noticed, especially if it's the second time watching something you've seen before. Normally I would choose something that is science fiction, drug related, mind bending, or a comedy. This time though, I had decided on a classic that people had told me to watch while tripping, and that I had not seen since I was a child. The title of the movie is Walt Disney's Alice in Wonderland from 1951. I know what you are thinking, bro. Alice in Wonderland? You must be tripping, homie, but trust me, it is worth the watch. I waited close to an hour and a half into taking the three grams of Malabar's before starting the movie. Since it had been so many years since seeing the film, I could only vaguely remember the characters and scenes. As the story begins, I am starting to feel the shrooms and anticipate what's next. Wonderland is a very silly, goofy, and unpredictable place. Something like a trip on mushrooms is. I wonder how connected LSD is to the creation of this movie, as it's been speculated by many people in the past. The artwork and creativeness for 1951 is so far ahead of its time. As Alice progresses through Wonderland and meets characters along the way, the Cheshire Cat makes his appearance. I do remember him quite well. What I certainly wouldn't remember because I was a child is how much he looked like an entity from something I've seen on DMT. Definitely not the same, but the characteristics of the eyes and mouth was a firm reminder. Then the tea party came along, and I absolutely lost my shit in laughter. I think I was tearing up by the end of that scene. Of course, by this point, I was at the height of the trip, so the characters were just that much more funny, and I was fucking dying, I swear. How something could be 70 years old and be that funny, I don't really know. Maybe it was the shrooms. In conclusion, this is a great way for me to really enjoy a trip without getting too crazy. And I think most people could agree, that is the way most of us would like to enjoy psychedelics. Movie watching or sitting through a short series while on trains comes very recommended by me. Getting that feeling of being in the movie comes much easier, and the visual stimuli will keep your mind from wandering too far. I plan to watch Alice in Wonderland 2010 on another trip in the future, but not anytime soon. Maybe take some white rabbit mushrooms for that one, if you know what I mean. Until next time, please be safe, and stay humble.